There's a story told of a king who had a very close friend. But this friend was a quite an annoying friend. And every time something went wrong, he would say, Don't worry, Your Majesty. That's the best thing that could have happened. And you can sort of live with that for a little bit, but after a while it really starts to get annoying. And one day the king is going out hunting with his close friend. He tells his friend, can you prepare the gun for me? The friend starts preparing the gun and boom, by mistake, he hit the trigger and off went the king's finger. And he tried to explain to the king that this is the best thing that ever happened to you. The king went berserk and had the fellow put straight in jail and didn't want to hear from him again. Next time the king goes all by himself hunting. He's hunting and he gets caught by a bunch of cannibals. They had the custom that they took their prey to the head cannibal to make sure it gets a special check over before they shecht him. And they take him to the chief cannibal and he says, Don't you know the halacha? Don't you know the law? We are not allowed to eat any human being that has a blemish. They have to be complete. And as he says this, the king's going through his mind and he's saying, Ooh, that's interesting. Maybe I understand what my annoying friend was saying. And he rushes back excitedly to the palace. And he goes straight to the jail. And he says to, my, to his friend, I am so sorry. How could I have not believed what you said? And the, king, the friend said, you'll excuse me, but don't apologize for putting me in jail. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. If I'd have been out hunting with you, they'd have eaten me. You'd have gone home to the palace, a happy man. It's a very important message here. The parasha, Tzav, in the book of Ayikra, talks about sacrifices that were offered up in the tabernacle and the holy mishkan. The sin of the golden calf, according to many, occurred right before they were commanded to build the tabernacle. They had too much gold and they built an idol, one of the three cardinal sins. What did God say to do? He didn't say cast the gold into the sea. He didn't say don't have to do with gold for seven years, don't touch gold for seven years. No, he said take that gold and transform it into something positive. And that's what's happened. God took the Mishka, took the gold, build the house for me, bring up sacrifices to atone for your sins. He took something so negative and made it so, so positive. That's a small message that we have to take from this week's parasha, and which I have seen in my experience with people taking negative situations and transforming them and utilizing them for something so positive. Esther did this. She had to marry the king. She was forced to marry someone. Purim is next week. We read all about Esther. And she took that opportunity and that situation and saved the whole Jewish nation. Shabbat Shalom.